Hi, uh, David here of Lancaster Honda, and here we've got a Honda Jazz SE. It's a Honda approved model, so it is used, and it's a 2020 model. So, what I'll be doing in this video is just showing you around the condition of the vehicle, just show you what it's like, and what equipment you get the standard. So, starting at the rear, the back wheel, so it is on the gaps, so they will be in pretty good condition, but even if they're not very cheap. And down the side of the vehicle, you can see there's no issues with body work or all that. And moving on. Second hook up. No marks on the wing mirror at all. Uh, and onto the front, you see the headlight design there. Alongside the blue outline on the bag, signifying that it's a hybrid. Again, no issues with the bumper at all. Onto the third wheel there. The measure of the wing mirror cap, so as you can see, there's no damage on it anywhere. It'd be quite hard for the mileage it's on. And there's the last wheel there. And what we'll do is just pop the boot open, just show you what sort of space you get in there. So as you might have noticed as well, there's quite a low boot lip, which means it's quite easy to lift things into. And then under this little section here, you've got another extra bit of storage. Under this area is where the hybrid batteries are kept, so that's why it's not accessible. And just while we're here, I'll just fold that side down. And as you can see, it does go near enough completely flat there. The only sort of lip is this little section here, just so it goes up. And I'll just put this seat back up and just show the Honda Magic seat system. So as you might have spotted there, the base actually folds into the floor. And then, sorry about the angle while I'm moving there. And then you can lock it upwards in an upright position and you get loads of vertical storage space there. And this vehicle, while we're at it, does also come with some fitted Honda Jazz mats. So just into the front now. So you do get electric windows all around there. And then you've got your button for your sort of security things here or your safety tech so you can turn off your stability control and then that's your honda sensing stuff there sorry about that it was just a little bit windy i was going to get the door shut so we'll just start the engine now so as you can see the mileage there 6611 i'll just get rid of all those because i'm set with that seat belt on and as you can see, it's still got 89 miles of range left for two bars, which isn't too bad at all there. Should be aiming for about sort of 500 miles out of a tank with one of these. So onto the wheel, you've got all your adaptive cruise control settings there, including your lane keep assist. So bearing in mind, this is the SE model and it is the base level one. Getting adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist is quite a decent feature, really. Then onto the other side, you've got this bit to flick through all your menus. So if you press the little home button and use a scroll wheel, you can go through all of these here that's usually my favorite one to leave on it shows you what the power's doing at the time whether it's going to the battery from the battery going from the engine to the battery or the engine to the wheels it just sort of shows you what's going on so back to this anyway you can flip through your sort of music using these ones and obviously your source there and then you've got your phone buttons just underneath there and just hidden behind the wheel you've got your automatic lights there and your auto wipers on that side and then your button to start and stop the vehicle you do get climate control in here so it is automatic as well so you just change your temperature as you feel like with that we're going to turn it off for the time being just keep volume down and you do get one usb slot there you get your 12 volt power outlet and the engine has just kicked in so i'll just show you that screen i was talking about so as you can see there the engine is now feeding the battery and what we'll do is we'll just turn the audio on make sure the volume's off just so this video doesn't get banned so as you see you've got quite a few different radio wavelengths to flick through and then you've also got media devices there so you've got usb and you've got bluetooth and it's trying to connect to i assume someone's device who's previously been on there but we'll uh we'll go back from that so there you go there's bluetooth so you can connect via bluetooth usb and then you've got multiple different radios uh bandwidth you can go through onto the gear stick itself so you, it's just an automatic as all hybrid vehicles now are it's not a mild hybrid so you've got park reverse neutral drive and regenerative brake in there then you've got your electronic parking brake, brake hold and your economy button there and when that's on you just get a little leaf appears on there so we'll just leave that off for the time being and then that's where i'd store the keys next to the little cup holder you get a nice armrest with quite a bit of storage underneath to be honest and then just to finish off the video, you do get the Honda Jazz Slip Box. So, all your book pack in the bottom there, 
and you get a nice little flat one at the top up there. Really handy bit of storage there. So if there's something I've not covered in this video, or you'd like to come and see the vehicle in person, just give us a call and we'll see how we can help you out. Thanks, take care, bye.